Hi, I'm Tiffany and welcome to Broke Girl Aesthetic. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this from a simple wood round that you can find on Amazon. Cheap, easy, nothing to it. So stick around if you want to watch the process. On this channel, I'll be posting some DIYs, thrift flips, renos, and more. So if you like that type of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be alerted to my new uploads. Happy New Year, y'all. How about that? My first video in a long time. <clears throat> and I'm really pretty happy about it. So here's what I'm working with today. I've got this balsa wood round. Uh, I got them from Amazon. They're a pack of five. I'll drop the link below. Uh, I'm going to paint it just some standard acrylic paint. Uh, I'm going to use some twine, hot glue gun. There's some other stuff you'll see. <laughs> uh, God, it's been such a long time since I've done one of these, so I'm so sorry. I forgot to set my video to a higher quality so it sucks right now and uh, I decided I'm just gonna speed all this stuff up because I mean y'all y'all know how to paint I hope and I'm just slopping it on here anyway <laughs> yeah uh, I already had painted did I already paint no I didn't uh, this is one side so I paint the other part of it uh, off camera um, you'll see I do uh, two coats of white paint on both sides because uh, I had an idea I didn't really follow through with it the way I wanted to but you know it is what it is so I'm just going along this coating it with white paint um, I just okay whatever <laughs> so I'm taking the twine I already measured it out uh, and I'm gonna braid it and again I'm gonna speed up through here and I think I cut a whole bunch of this out I haven't edited for a while either I'm trying a new program uh, it's all yeah you, know, <laughs> you hear the old cliche new year new me well it's like new year new everything right I mean hello 2021 I know I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's been pretty spectacular already and it's only the, well, it's 2.39 a.m. on the 8th that I'm recording this voiceover. Hopefully I'll be able to get this video up later. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just braiding this <laughs> super long twine. Uh, that that wood round that I'm using is 14 inches so it's not small it's considerably larger than some of the other ones I've seen and because I this twine is so long I keep getting it tangled so yeah here <laughs> I just shove it up out of the way I don't know how many times I set a heavy glass base on it but I kept yanking it out It was a little bit of a disaster, but hey, it's my first one back. It's it can't be perfect, right? Um, yeah, just <laughs> twenty twenty sucked. Uh, I took off from like the socials. I just didn't even do anything. It was depressing, and you know, hey, I just I just got busy with other stuff and didn't even. I don't know. It's whatever. But hey, it's a new year. We're starting fresh. Taking the bull by the horns, baby. So once I get this braided out, and as you can see, I'm at the end of it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. Because I'm going to glue this around the edge of the round. And I'm going to use it also to... Uh, I'll also use it to hang it up. If you're noticing, yes, I do have both of each hand is a different color. <laughs> I 
I did my nails for Christmas and then I changed my left hand for the new year. <laughs> I never got around to doing my right because I'm right handed. It's hard. <laughs> um, I will be doing them for Valentine's. I will have a video up uh, to do some Valentine nails and it'll just be my left hand probably. I'll do my right hand off camera. Okay, so I'm using a clear it's a sticker. Uh, I don't have a Cricut. I don't have anything like that. So I've got to do this, you know, the old school way. And I printed the sticker off. See, it's just a clear, it's a clear vinyl sticker. It's kind of a frosty clear. Um, I got from Amazon also. Again, I'll link every, everything I got from Amazon, I'll link in the description box. Uh, so I'm going to use my X-Acto on part of it and then just cut it out with scissors on the rest of it but um yeah so I just printed it out in Photoshop don't ask me the fonts I don't remember because uh, it's going to go in the center of the round um, I'm going to use the exacto knife to cut out those little spots but I'm not getting super detailed like getting inside the E's and all those and all that I'm going to leave a little edge on there so I can so I can pull off the paper and so I don't inadvertently tear it. It's clear. Um, other than the glossy part, uh, you know, you're not really going to notice it on the white. <clears throat> In hindsight, uh, I should have waited until I was getting the matte finish because I'm getting some matte finish paper too as well. And uh, if I had been thinking about it, I probably would have done it that way. I didn't, this was just something I came up with. Um, I'm part of the, part of a program with Anna, Amazon to, um, you know, leave reviews for stuff. And uh, a lot of the stuff I've gotten is, is part of that program. Uh, including this transfer, this, uh, this vinyl sticker paper. Uh, I'm super I'm super happy with it. It prints out beautifully. Like I can use Sharpie, I can use watercolor marker, I can use pen. I can write on it. My kid was drawing me um she drew me some intricate little flower details on a scrap piece of it for a sticker. Uh I made some just some little random stickers out of just drawing on it. And uh it dries really fast pretty adhesive. It's adhesive but it doesn't like on paper it'll pull it, the paper off but um, if you stick it on something like a hard surface like metal or plastic or whatever if you're careful and pulling it off you can take it off and re-stick it. You just got to be a little careful with it. Um, can't think of the brand right off the top of my head. I can't really get up to go look. But um, yeah, I'll link that below. But super good. And I think I got 20 sheets in the pack. Hopefully this will be the year I get my Cricut machine. I've been wanting one for so many years. Like back when you bought the cartridges and you know, ran the machine by hand, the little crank thing. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm old. I know. My birthday's coming up too, and officially in three days. So <laughs> I'll be 40 something. <laughs> and then my youngest daughter also has her birthday coming up in seven days, and she will be 14. So that's going to be a, a big thing. So I've got it cut out there. I've let, let the thing dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue this this rope on there and you see I tie a knot there that's how I'm going to hang it. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to glue it all around the edge there. My hot trusty hot glue gun. I also speed up through this process and cut some stuff out cuz how tedious. And again, I am so sorry my camera angle. I use my phone. <sighs> And the tripod that I'm using is not conducive to overhead. 
with your cell phone. So I'm going to have to, I said this like in the last couple of videos that I did last year, I'm try still trying to figure out a setup. So this will be the year that I finally figure out how to set all my, set my cameras and phones and lights and all that stuff up. I'm just sitting in my living room right now at the, at the table, um, or the dining room, at the dining room table, uh, and my overhead light and I think I've got a little ring light to the side of me which didn't really no I must have had it off because you can not see the extra light but it's so <laughs> wow crappy quality and that thing that I'm sitting my uh sitting my hot glue gun on it's a little spoon trivet thing where you can like grind your garlic and stuff on I don't know it's whatever because I probably will never grind garlic or parmesan on it but it's a cool spoon rest <laughs> so just speed right through glue and all that on there and that's the back of it I think I only did one coat of paint on the back part. I'm okay with that though. I didn't want it to be super... I mean, I kind of wanted it to be bright, but not like obnoxious. I don't do the farmhouse thing much, but I had this idea in my head and I was like, well, I'm going to try it out. I think I saw something like this on Pinterest. I don't know, probably. <laughs> I mean, does that happen to you? You get on Pinterest and you're like, you get swallowed in the rabbit hole of Pinterest and you're just like on and on for hours and you just, oh, I, I think I can make that. Oh, I, I like that. I want to try and make that. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> and actually, I think I want to, I want to start sometime this year a series that's just called my Pinspiration series where I find, a, you know, something on Pinterest that I can DIY. You know, kind of like the, you know, other dupes, but this would specifically be from a Pinterest pin, not, you know, whether it's somebody who's had something in an Etsy store. Actually, that might be where this came from. Uh, you know, an Etsy shop or if they sell it on Pinterest or whatever. Pinterest creators or, you know, whatever. <clears throat> I do have, like, an anthropology dupe, a pottery barn dupe, a West End dupe, or West Elm dupe. I think I have two of those uh, in the works too. So I'm just trimming off the, the knots there at the end so I can get this glued on here. Finish that up. It was kind of a pain and again, I wasn't trying to, you know, I wasn't trying to make it perfect, so. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I accidentally cut something and didn't cut something. And my sound is weird, so. I'll have to try and mess with that. It's kind of, you can see, it's easy to take off of the paper. And they call it frosty clear, and I'm guessing that they, they call it that, and it is kind of frosty clear, so you can at least see what you're doing with it, you know. But it's not so frosty that it's noticeable. And there I go. There you go. How about that? <laughs> so making sure it's all patted down and smoothed out. And now I'm going to glue some of this, you know, I don't even know what it is. Just some green crap I got from Amazon. Eucalyptus. No, it's not eucalyptus. Hey. You guys tell me in the comments what this plant is supposed to be because I have no idea. I don't remember. 
It's been months. It's been in a bag. It's been in a bag for months. I got in like July and it's kind of bent and weird. So I'm struggling with this right now and, and trying to see if I can just get it to lay flat there. Then I realized, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's, no, that's right. I'm cutting off the, the length because they're six, I think they're six feet. There were two, two six foot lengths of this faux plant. So, after cutting off the end here, I, uh, if you heard that, it was my phone went off, so sorry about that. <laughs> one of my kids is texting me at one o'clock in the morning. Um, so, I figured out that I have to cut this because it's bent in a funky way. <laughs> I, I'm I, I think I may have made an even more profane statement at this stuff at some point <laughs> I was having I was having a hard time dealing with this but it all works out in the end and I, in this one I was really happy I really loved how it turned out You've probably never heard that in any of my other videos. <laughs> I have very low expectations, okay? So if it's something I really love, I'm going to say so. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just try. I try. A little bit of self-deprecating humor never hurts anybody. And I was honestly shocked that I can make it look this good. Because... I was having such a, a rough time with this plastic plant stuff. It's not like fabric or silky. It's all straight up plastic. Which is good because then I won't kill it or, you know, otherwise really mess it up. But it's plastic. <laughs> you can tell it's plastic. And I have this on, uh, I think, uh, it's it's double speed and try and get it done I'm trying to keep the video short because I uploaded that what 30 second video for New Year's and it literally took three hours or four hours to upload that and I'm like this is crazy I can't imagine how long it's gonna take this one to upload the rest of tonight and most of tomorrow morning probably or more most of the morning Yeah, see, I ended up cutting it in half because there was that spot that just, it was just bent and I couldn't straighten it out. It just stayed that way. <clears throat> and I honestly, I thought about leaving it just the way it is. Just that little sprig right there. But I gave in and went ahead and finished with the rest of the sprig that I had set aside for it. I forgot how thirsty you get whenever you're doing voiceover work. My trusty little tiny hot glue gun. I've had that thing for so many years. It's like smaller than my hand. <laughs> I have big hands, so <laughs> things like that. It's really tiny, but it works. It works so much better than the other one I had. I, I had one last year from Dollar General, for like six, seven dollars, and the thing broke the first time I used it. Like the the trigger, it wouldn't work anymore. So, and I was so upset because I used the big fat glue sticks, right? This one uses teeny tiny little ones, so I have to use like 15 of them to do... No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm exaggerating. 
but I am almost out of them, so I'm going to have to put those on my list to make sure I get more. I think I'm at the end of uh, gluing this down here. Yeah, I'm just holding it in place. With the exception of that glossiness from the sticker. Man, I should have used matte. Eh, I could take it off and use it. I can, I can change it. And here's the finished result. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And uh, hey, I just want to say thanks for coming back to my channel. Thanks for hanging out and watching. Uh, please subscribe. Click the like. Ring the bell. Yada yada. And here's to 2021. See y'all.